Welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. I'm going to be going over this thing with you. This client bought this one. This is a PTO-driven generator. Buy that right there. This came from Northern Tool and Hydraulics. It is a 24,000-watt 12kW generator. Surges to 27,500. We're going to go over a couple specs on this thing. Now, this one came from them with just this generator, transmission, and the PTO shaft. Agri Supply sells them. They also comes already mounted on a stand and comes with a PTO shaft. This one, um, this right here is an old carry off of the back of a tractor that was added up. That's some um, frames from a mobile home. So that when this thing is hooked on the tractor, and I'll show that to you, this thing right here, the PTO shaft will be running straight. This will be on the ground. So let me go over some specifications with this thing for you. Um, these things are really nice. This place here actually has two tractors. So one can be dedicated to a very big generator um, and still have another one for cleanup. Of course, we're still going through the aftermath of Helene up here in the mountains. This is a good option. Like I said, this place here has a couple tractors so they can dedicate one to the generator, which would be... I think minimum 45 horsepower to pull this thing. The tractor that pulls it is like 63, so they got plenty of power. This is one good option in that you don't have another motor, battery, and everything else to have to maintain and take care of. You can just dedicate a tractor to it when you need it. Uh, let's go over some of the specifications on this thing. On the control panel right here, of course, is a 50 amp plug. That's a 30 amp, uh, 125 volt or 120 volt pump uh, or plug. And then you have four outlets. But what I like about this one here is, and I'll show you this when it's hooked up. This right here is you pull 100 amps out of this thing and they are 175 amp plugs right there. But this one here on the back end, you can pull 100 amps direct right here to the house or to a control panel. And then they're all controlled by one set of 60 amp breakers and one set of 100 amp breakers on this thing. Let's zoom down here while I run my mouth. I'll show you this sticker on it. It's a North Star. But we're gonna show you this. This is a generator that can't get wet. So we've actually built a cover on another video to go over this thing, because where it will sit while it's hooked up and running will be outside. And if it is raining, snowing, or whatever else, it'd be a whole lot better than trying to throw a tarp over it and hope it didn't get caught in the PTO shaft and everything else. But uh, let's take you along for it. putting this thing in. We are actually a place that they had a generator. So this 100 amp service here will be feeding one house. And then we'll take the 50 amp cord to go over and feed another one. Like I said, it's already in place. We'll take you down to it. This is a 24. 4,000 watt one, and they do have one that's about 18, 16, 18,000, and then one about 12,000 PTO. So this is on the, this is about the larger one of the two. This is all single phase. So we're in the building. This pad right here used to hold a old railroad generator it was huge big old diesel engine and actually i think the one on this carrier out here is the same size maybe a little bit smaller 
but it had this huge diesel engine sitting right here. And what they had was it fed this box here. Well, yes, it fed up to this box. And this was one breaker for one house. And then we isolated the other breaker for the other house to go the other direction, but it fed here. So what we've got is a 100 amp plug here that will come into this box, go into the breaker in the bottom of the house. There's already a disconnect switch, everything there at the breaker box and everything. Like I said, this was already set up. So in the future, what we're going to do is right now the generator would run that house. They have a big wood fired furnace that has to be able to have electric all night long. So what we're going to do is this was the disconnect for the generator to an inverter. We're going to put some lithium batteries here and an inverter. They'll be able to switch to the inverter at night to power the pumps for the uh, hot water boiler to keep it from blowing up or run the generator. And being this thing has a 100 amp plug and a 50 amp plug, we're gonna run this 100 amp plug to that house. We're gonna wire a 50 amp cord and plug to run the other house. But basically, this is all it is to it. Let me carry this down and we'll hook it up. And what they've got is two of these plugs and it was already wired. This is 120, 120. This is the neutral wire and this is the ground wire. So what I've done for them, I have a ground and a white and a plug with nothing but red on it. So that's the way it gets plugged in. The red one goes here and then this one comes up top. Let me get that plugged in and I'll show you. Well, there it is. The two hot ones are plugged in. The neutral and the ground's plugged in the top. When we get the other cord wired up, we will then plug into the 50 amp cord to run the other house. We also have a ground wire that grounds this frame and generator here that we are gonna run to the grounding rods that are there. And then we have a line buried. We have another one here, and then we have another one. Well, there it is. And this is how it'll sit. Like I said, we're gonna get some gravel and put here and level up. And um, they'll be ready for at least the next storm. Um, whole house generator, and I mean a whole house generator. But that's how it's gonna sit running. It'll be waterproof. It's out of the weather. And like I said, we were kind of lucky in that this place was already set up with a big old generator. Wires are buried all the way to the house. The disconnect switch is there at the meter base. This one right here runs to the other house. It's already buried. There's a disconnect at the meter. Everything's all, all of that's already done. Kind of lucky on this one. But if I ever be a help, figure out something like this, schedule something, do something for you. Let me know. It's what we do. Thank you for watching. And as always, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about it. And I'll see you on the next one.